Lag, lag, lag. Lag not only belongs to the downswing part of your motion, it's the downswing's number one priority, concern and goal until you've swung well past the both arms straight follow through position. The more you retain your lag, the more smoothly you'll let your pivot move you forward. The later the straightening release of these angles will occur, and the later the better. In fact, from the line of sight of your eyes, everything but your right foot and shoulder should appear forward of the ball as you swing through the impact zone. Right, we're on. Lag. It's all lag today. Listen to this. Bobby Clampett states, from a purely descriptive point of view, lag describes the condition of the club head continually trailing the body, arms and hands, and of course the club shaft, right up to impact and through. Club head continually trailing the body. Clampett continues. We can also measure lag and both further define and indeed see it as the size of the angle created between the lead arm, or the left arm, wrist and hand and club shaft. Angle between left arm and club shaft. Great Steve, how do I learn lag? How do I feel lag? How do I practice lag? Well, just hold on. I'm using a seven iron for this. So I've got seven iron. I find myself in heavy rough. Now heavy rough is going to give me a restriction. So as I come through impact here, the length of the grass is going to slow down the club head. In order to feel lag, hit balls at the rough. That's a lie, just make swings in the rough. Don't actually hit golf balls from the rough, just take swings. The resistance is going to allow the body or ensure that the body performs before the hands, arms and club shaft. This is deep rough. So I'm in here. As I come back down, I couldn't, can't get the golf ball out the rough by hands and arms only. So if I was to throw the club head away, if I was to cast and throw out of there, any compression that I'm trying to get impact is going to be leaked. So that is going to be compression leakage. That is the opposite of lag. That is no use. So as I come down, if I'm to get a golf ball out of this rough, I would have to have the body opening up. I would have to have, when the body opens up, the angle between left arm and shaft that I've created at the top is maintained there, which is the opposite of being thrown away because body has turned. So I've held the angle between left arm and shaft or lead arm and shaft. And then body's going to turn through to allow me to try and drag this club through impact and beyond as Bobby Clampett says. So the club head, the shaft and head trail to the hands, arms, shoulders, body. So body turns first, body turn, 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 and through. And swinging the rough here creates lag. I can see that, can you see how the body has to work first for me to create, to clear the ground? Oof. So all this is doing is giving me an understanding and a feeling of how the body works in the golf swing. That is very, very impressive. I knew about this drill before, but I'd never tried it. Yeah, that's the most ridiculous thing I've ever done, but that actually feels fantastic. I completely feel, there, there's no getting away from it. If you cast a club head from the top of your golf swing there, that becomes unachievable. The sensation, the feeling, the feedback from the body working first there is like no other. Bobby Clampett continues. In conjunction with learning how to establish lag, you need to work on refining your body's work, meaning your pivot motion. If the power that you lag into impact is your precious cargo, the pivot is the transportation vehicle that carries the goods for you through the impact zone. That's why we call the pivot the golf swing's workhorse. The pivot is the golf swing's workhorse. <laughs> I've no rough left here. The pivot is the golf swing's workhorse, so I have to pivot. This is driving everything. Everything I do from here is getting driven by the body to create the lag to hold on to I get into my left arm alignment impact and continue pivoting through. So the pivot there. Look how the hips activate everything. Start here and the hips turn, they drive everything. We're running out of grass now. I feel like Rory McIlroy. He doesn't spend that long in the rough though. And then when that's taken onto the golf course, 
you'll be able to try and visualize or try and feel as though you're still in that rough playing that shot from the rough or that practice stroke from the rough so up there and then of course what had to work to get the ball out of the rough was body had to turn first body turned first and of course that creates the lag holding this L shape between left arm and club shaft there and continuing through so getting the body to work first creates the lag as Bobby Clampett so rightly talks about there he also talks about through impact the only thing he feels as those behind the golf ball is his right foot and right shoulder Eureka golf swings the same so there so it's body first so there <sighs> Excellent pivot driven. You can see when I finish there, belt buckle to target. Again, there, there, and through impact. Remember, beyond impact. A little bit clean. <laughs> and that is your lag drill for today. <laughs> thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for hitting the thumbs up button. And thanks for checking out my website, Eureka Golf Swing. I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.